My uncle had an illegitimate child. This alone is surprising enough, but that child is going to enroll at the school. My brother Nix, who graduated, is coming to the academy to take care of our relatives. He is going to give a follow-up from Bartafault family. Uncle cannot to be underestimated. When I laugh, Nix glares at me. This is no laughing matter. Because of you, our family is on the rise. Even an illegitimate child can be the cause of all kinds of trouble. Seeing Nix with his hand on his abdomen, he seems to be worrying a lot. It's great to have an older brother who takes care of his little brother. So keep up the good work Oniai-chan. As we waited at the school gate, new students passed by one by one. Some of the new students were paying attention to us, but they didn't bother to get involved. Does it look like there is a reason? Nix looks pale and I am sure he doesn't want to get involved. Did they come? Nix sees one girl with long dark hair walking up. Her appearance is not bad. No, it would just look normal because the five idiot sisters I have seen so far have been outstandingly beautiful girls. If you see her anywhere else, she looks like a beautiful girl. She walks with a mature manner, holding the school's bag with both hands and walking with a straight back. Her eyes looked slightly downward, and her breasts were estimated to be about a C cup. The boys around her are also glancing at her. In the midst of many flashy schoolgirls, the fact that she was modest made her stand out from the crowd. That girl? That's not one of ours. She's a neat and tidy girl. You don't think the Bartafault family is full of women like Jenna and Finley, do you? Remember our mother. More plump than recently. I say plumped up in an oblique way, but honestly speaking, the dignity has increased. Be that as it may, I'm surprised that a girl who seems modest and quiet is our cousin. Maybe because I thought my older and little sister and I was imagining flashy, flirtatious girl. As she approached the school gate, a male student approached her. Boy, I'm Count. The boy with his cronies is being overbearing with the girl. From me and Nix's point of view, it was an unbelievable sight. What's that guy? He's a first-year student and yet he's acting with such contemptuous attitude. Is that normal for today's students? I envy them. If only I had been born two years later. I can't help but envy them. Our generation has always been treated poorly by girls. Then, in front of the arrogant boy with his cronies, the smiling cousin Dono, with a full swing of her bag, was blowing the boy away. Nix! That girl just gave him a full swing. Even I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm so confused. Nix also in turmoil. Stop it, Lynette! Don't touch the boy! Because the other party is a count. This situation seems to have been a direct attack on Nix's stomach. The boy in front of me and even Nix by my side were injured, Lynette Chan, you're extreme. When approached, Lynette Chan makes a this is bad face for a moment. She quickly replaced it with a smile that seemed to say, oh ho ho. Ah, this girl is a pretty radical type on the inside. Behind the school building. Fee. CM. Around Lynette Chan's right shoulder, Luxion appears out of nowhere. Why are you standing there like you're on Lynette's side? You prefer Lynette to me? Nix is retiring because of stomach pains. I'll do the talking instead. Lynette looks away from me and is in a cold sweat. I, I would prefer not to talk to the nobleman. What language is it? Just use a casual tone. Ah, so. Relieved, Lynette patted her chest and stretched out with her legs shoulder-width apart. Well, I don't want to go to something stiff place like a nobleman's academy. Totally agree. Luxion, did you change your voice? He has a feminine voice and tone. Boy, don't act so creepy. What's more, why are you on Lynette's side? I reached out to Luxion and she quickly moved away. Eh? It simply hurt. Don't touch me. And don't get me wrong. Lynette looked at Luxion and shrugged. 
Luxian has a bad mouth. Forgive her, nobleman. Luxian? And no, more than that, don't call me a nobleman. Leon is fine. Oh really, then Leon Neeson. We're cousins, so this is fine, right? Ha! Huh. Leon Neeson? This girl is over-familiar. But I'm an adult. I'll forgive her this much. If you have any trouble, say anything. I'll educate the first-year count earlier well, so you don't have to worry about anything. More importantly, do you have enough allowance? Eh? Why are you talking about pocket money? I'll take it if you give it. For now, how about ten thousand? Lynette was surprised when she saw me take out a wad of bills. Then, any first-year boy who messes with Lynette will be called to the back of the school building and I will personally educate them. Determined, Luxion descended from the sky. I don't think you should be overprotective just because someone calls you Oniisan. Luxion. Then, what the hell is this guy? I had thought it was a Luxion until now, but upon closer inspection, I found that the details were different from those of a Luxion. A female voiced Luxion identifies herself. I told you I am Luxion. You don't seem to have enough learning ability. Nisan, I feel sorry for you to have such a master. Luxion, you say too much. In a manner of speaking, he is my master. Nisan. Luxion is her brother. Could it be that this guy mass produced an artificial intelligence? And he gave it to Lynette? Why? I'm confused, and Luxion brings up another troubling story to me. But more importantly, Master, there is a big issue. It was always a big issue, and it's still a big issue. You never told me you had a younger sister. Angelica and Mylene are in trouble. What did you say?